Our feature game to start today begins with uh, the second seeded, and that is the Towson Tigers against the third seeded College of Charleston Cougars. Ball gets away from the catcher and safely sliding in with our first run of the afternoon, Dupree on a wild pitch. Everybody moves up a base. The uh, items you may find coming in a dugout. Base hit right up the middle, another run will score, and the Cougars with the two to nothing lead. You Dukes, I understand. Yeah, exactly, I was actually versus the College of Charleston. Base hit into left field. Only one run will score as quickly getting to it as Jones, the left fielder, and the Tigers on the board. And they're still sitting pretty, no outs. Here's Cahill, Holiday a junior, 352. 11 home runs, 45 runs driven in. Make that 12 home runs and 49 driven in. You knew it right off the bat, Kurt. Like I said, the USA Collegiate Player of the Week, Holiday Cahill. For Frisbee, the senior, 232. No home runs, 10 runs driven in. Line drive right back, and Pickman spears it for the out. Oh, we already had one SC top 10 play apparently last night. Yeah. It several years ago. I, was, gonna, I yeah. was wondering. I was like, I haven't heard That was pre Kim Fucci. <laughs> yeah. And oh. another nice line drive. How about that? A couple of back to back, let's say, top 10 CAA plays defensively, as that one is snared by Miko. Yeah. I mean, if you talk about women's soccer, the 1991 1999. Ball hit well to left field. And into the wall, the ball is not caught and ending up at second base with a double to score the run by Scott is Miko. Popped up. Nice play by the second baseman. The tag from the runner at third and she's going to score is Strucker. That makes it a 7-2 ball game. Well hit to left field. It's out of here. The home run for Garcia, changes the score 7-3 as the Cougars get the run back that the Tigers got in the fifth. That's right. Go across game. Out to left field and it's caught there by Yarbrough and the Towson Tigers open their campaign in 2016, the CA Softball Championship Tournament with the victory. All right, Karen, I'll start with Holiday Cahill. Uh, a grand slam in that first inning, but it was an interesting inning because it took a little bit of time for the offense to get rolling. I know you guys gave up two runs. Talk about the at-bat and talk about the length of that inning itself. Um, the length of the inning was great. Um, we were battling. We were putting the uh, ball in play. Um, I really went up there just looking for a good pitch to hit, and um, it happened to be the first one, and I put a good swing on it. Coach, I'll switch it with you. I, I, kind of along the same lines, I know the long ball for you guys, whether it's been Holiday, whether it's been Stratcher, it's just been a lot of girls all along, but that was a pretty big grand slam. Yeah, well, it was a good way to start the game, right? Exactly. Uh, break us through the mentality of coming into the championship and, and surviving and advancing, but knowing, hey, we're in the winner's bracket now. We can wait till tomorrow to play again. I think we just worry about innings. We came out here, we wanted to win the first inning. You know, we fell behind 2 nothing. We knew we had to scratch and fight and, and try to win that inning. It's not bigger than that. You have to look at Amber Hickman today, too, and her performance, just going the distance and getting it done for you guys. Yeah, she well. settled down real nice. I'm really proud of the work she put in to put herself in that position.